So what is a factor graph? A factor graph is in mathematical terms a bipart graph representing the factorization of a function. So what does that mean? That means we can take um, a function g for example and break this function g down in a product of functions f and the function, functions f depend on a subset of the variables that the function g depends on. So that means we can take this function g which let's say depends on 10 variables and break it down into a product of functions and all those individual functions depend on a smaller number, a smaller subset, so less than those 10 variables. And this is a very handy tool in the context of probability distributions because the factor graph allows me to represent a joint probability distributions, that means a distribution ranging over all variables, into a product of smaller probability distributions. Smaller means here that it depends on a smaller number of variables. And similar to other graphical models such as Bayes networks or Markov networks, um, we can use factor graphs to describe independence relations in, um, between the variables and we can run different algorithms on these factor graphs which allow us to do um, certain inference tasks in an efficient way. So let's look into a small example of a factor graph. So a factor graph has nodes in which it stores those variables indicated with those circles and then it has factors which are those small um, rectangles which represent the individual functions. So if a factor connects two, three, four or more um, nodes, it means this is one of those small functions f and the nodes which it just connects to are the variables this function depends on. And then the overall function of all variables can be represented as a product of these individual functions. And um, this is a very common tool used in, for example, state estimation problems, um, SLAM, bundle adjustment and other techniques in order to describe how certain variables depend on each other. Um, there is a strong relation between Bayesian networks, Markov networks and those factor graphs. We can actually show that a Bayesian network or a Markov network can be represented as a factor graph as well. And there are popular algorithms defined on uh, factor graphs. For example, the sum product algorithm that is used to compute marginal distributions. So um, a distribution that only depends on a subset of those variables. And um, it is in the context of robotics and computer vision often used to describe least squares problems. So least squares problems um, happen or occur very often, again in mapping tasks, three reconstruction tasks, just as small examples. And in this context, factor graphs are often used to represent how different state variables, those nodes, um, depend or are related with, for example, observations for which those factors are used to describe how certain nodes are related with each other based on the information that we have gathered um, from our sensor data and which is stored in those factors. Um, so it's a very common tool when performing, for example, least squares or other state estimation tasks. There are also popular um, systems out there that have been proposed, for example, for SLAM and bundle adjustment. This is the SAM or GT SAM system, ISAM, different variants, which are used for a wide range of applications. And factor graphs become especially handy as a tool for visualizing the dependencies uh, in those problems, and especially if you have multiple sensors involved. So for multi-sensor systems, they're very attractive because you basically generate factors, for example, for uh, a camera. You use um, a factor for laser scanners, for example, describing a scan matching process, or uh, a visual inertial navigation factor can describe how this information, this sensor information, relates the variables we want to estimate, the nodes, with each other. And it can do that in a very intuitive way. Um, and things, and tools that we have used, such as a post graph, for example, in SLAM, can of course also be represented as factor graphs. And a factor graph is a somewhat more general uh, description and therefore became very popular over the last years. Um, so Frank Delert and his group populated factor graphs around 2007 in robotics and since then their popularity is increasing for a way for describing problems and dependencies between variables. 
So it's a common tool to know about. Um, it is no black magic. It's especially nice for us as humans to visualize things using vector graphs to describe problems and dependencies. Um, but there are also uh, formal algorithms like message passing algorithms that you can run on those vector graphs. I hope that was useful as a starting point in case you want to dive deeper into vector graphs. Thank you very much for your attention.